Hello, welcome to another video guide on communication in Canvas Learning Management System. Today, we're going to talk about discussions, and previously, we've covered announcements and inbox. Discussions are interesting in that they are both an assessment tool and a communication channel. This means that when we use discussions in our courses, we're not only encouraging engagement, but we're also evaluating the information that they exchange with each other, much like a graded recitation in a face-to-face -face environment. Here's the functionality matrix once again. We can see that apart from graded and ungraded interactions, discussions can be very useful for communicating with students or groups of students within the course and also for sharing files or documents. By the end of this video, you will be able to use discussion as a platform for non-graded interactions such as for student inquiries or clarification questions. You will also be able to post a graded discussion forum for whole class student engagement. Finally, you will be able to use discussions to communicate to specific groups of students. We will also look at some cool uses of discussions in group communication, pros and cons and challenges and limitations, and some relevant case scenarios. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use two courses that have been concluded in the fall term of 2020, Bioinformatics and Medical Professionalism. By using real, taught courses, you'll be able to see actual interactions in the students within the discussion tasks. Let's go into the Bioinformatics Discussions page. By default, discussions groups your posts into three categories, pin discussions, discussions, or concluded discussions, the ones that are closed for comments. To create a new discussion, we can go into the discussions area and click the phrase, click here to add a discussion. Or we can go to the top right corner and look for the plus discussion blue button and click that instead. And that will lead us to the Rich Text Editor page. We need to type a topic title for our discussion. Make sure that we also detail the task of our discussion, especially if it's graded. Okay, quick question. How do you make sure your discussion post isn't ignored by your students? The answer is to reward students' interaction with your material, and that includes giving them points for their post and also for replying to other students. Assign the discussion to all the students or to a section of students in the course. You also have the option to attach files to the discussion something that the students will have to look at before they actually reply to the discussion. Next, specify settings options. If you click allow threaded replies, that means students can reply to previous replies of their classmates. Clicking users must post before seeing replies limits them to posting first before they actually see other students' answers. Allow students to like each other's replies, but this will also hinder them from posting real responses. You also have the option to add the discussion in the student's to-do list. By clicking that tick box, you'll be able to schedule when the discussion task needs to be done by. Don't forget to specify the availability dates of the discussion and click save when you finish. Now that we have created our discussion, I'd like to see where that appears on the discussions page. So I click on discussions and it appears in the discussions area. But if this is a very important task, I would click on the three vertical dots and select the second option, Pin. That will move the discussion post to the top part of the page, which is the Pin Discussions area. I could also unpin the post by just going to the same three vertical dots and clicking the second option. That moves it back down to the Discussions area, which means that students will have to scroll all the way down to look for it if you have very many discussions. All right, so this time let's create a graded discussion. Click the Add Discussion blue button on the upper right corner, but before you type in anything in the Rich Text Editor, scroll down to Options and look for the graded tick box. Tick that, and that will allow you to decide if this is a group discussion that's graded or an individual discussion that's also graded. A graded discussion becomes part of your course assessments, which means you have to classify this discussion under a specific assignment group, or you can create a graded discussions assignment group.
Now you can fill in all the other information in the rich text editor fields. Earlier, I mentioned that a graded discussion can either be a group graded discussion or an individual graded discussion. Let's not tick that box, this is a group discussion for now, and make this an individual graded discussion. Later, I'll show you examples of group graded discussions and really cool submissions. All right, some final cool tricks with discussions. Click the three vertical dots on the upper right corner and you'll see that you have the option to mark all the replies read all at once. You can also add a rubric to this graded discussion since this is an actual course assessment. And earlier, I mentioned that there's a third section in the discussions page where all the concluded discussions are saved. Click on the fourth option to close this discussion for comments. Time for a case scenario. This is the professionalism in medicine course. In one of their requirements, the students were asked to form groups and post the progress or development of their project in a graded discussion forum. Let's take a look at that team project. Before this graded discussion forum was posted, eight group sets were created in the people function of the Canvas course. All the students in the course can reply to this post, but they could also go into their discussion group and communicate with each other within that group. Each group set in the discussion forum has its own discussions page, and the teachers and the TA can communicate with the students within that group. Group sets have their own homepage, announcements, pages, people, files, conferences, and even collaborations tab. Here, you will be able to see the members of the group, as well as the TAs and the teachers within that course. File sharing within the group set is also possible so they have their own storage for all the files they share. In this video, you learned that discussions are useful for a variety of communication tasks, including responding to student inquiries in an engaging class discussion format. You also learned that discussions are useful for posting a graded discussion forum for increased student engagement. Discussions, however, are not useful for individual student communication. Here's a link to further information about Canvas discussions. Thanks for joining me today.